Dusseldorf, 31st of August 2017. This is the stand of Clever Vans and this is the Clever Roly 600. And it costs from 37,000 euros, although this one here costs from 45,390. We'll see why in a moment. It's six meters long, which is a good size for parking and getting it on the ferries relatively cheaply. As you can see from the outside, it's also got a Dometic awning and it's got two skylights. The big one is at the back and the smaller one at the front. A normal, sorry, a normal size one at the front. Now, uh, the, this one here is going to cost 45,390. That's because it's some more money for a Fiat chassis. It's an automatic. It's got these other packets on it. It's got a metallic color. It's got alu, um, what do you call them? Them things down there. Uh, alu, uh, I forgot what the words now. Um, pub caps or something. And it's, uh, oh, if you want to have it delivered to Dusseldorf, it will cost 900 on top of that. If you don't want to deliver to Dusseldorf, it will probably cost more or less, I don't know. Right, let's have a look inside. Open the door up. And somebody's ripped the rear seats out. Well, that's a pretty good idea because normally there's only two people traveling anyway, so I'm all for that. The table, however, is quite small, and, and given the fact the rear seats have been ripped out, it's a pity that that table couldn't be made a little bit bigger. Now, I do appreciate you're traveling with somebody, it's only two of you, but you do want to sit in front of each other. The thing is, by getting rid of the rear seats, you've got all this extra space in the van for doing other things, and there is a huge amount of space down there as well. So, I'm pointing everything out here, which I think is good. Now, there you've got the fridge, and under it, you've got the uh, well, I think it's a wardrobe, to be quite honest. I don't know. It doesn't. It's a storage space with two shelves in it. Right. At the bulkhead, you've got a bit of space up there. You can keep your bedding in there. That's a good place for it. And also, not too certain why, but there's this sort of cubby hole here. Maybe oh, it makes up. It fills in the space, so that's not a bad idea. Right. Now, uh, having the table like that, though. Hmm. Well, okay, I don't like it obviously, the rest would have to be laid out in, in, in the way, but I don't quite know how. Now, uh, this is a pretty good idea in my opinion, doing the shower like this, because it saves space. Now, you may think, okay, it's already six meters, well, okay, that's not a small, uh, that small a van, but it does save a bit of space. Now, as we look at the back, you can see bed, double bed, lengthwise, huge amount of space, and the bed goes up, and you get your bikes in here. The bed is quite low, but by being low, it does mean to say that these storage cabinets can go in there. But look at all that space there, should you really need it. And if there's only one of you, you can, you can sleep in there and keep your bike inside. And if there's two of you, you can sleep in a single bed. Uh, and keep your bikes inside or stick your bikes outside and uh, tie them to the van or something. Chain them to the van, I would suggest. You can see one of the problems here actually that we face when we're doing uh, vehicle conversions, and that's the space of the, uh, that, the sp space needed for the vehicle. Now, the lights have gone off. The reason they put the lights off is either to stop me filming because uh, they don't want me to see something or because they want to go home. But I would have thought that before they went home, the most sensible thing to have done would have been to turn the music off. Never mind. So that's how clever do things. Let's have a look at here. You've got one gas ring and a rather small sink. Is that a good idea in a vehicle? Uh, well, you know, six meters, you might want more gas ring. I know I've said before in smaller vehicles, one gas ring will do. But in a vehicle like this, I think two would probably be uh, better. Okay, I do think this is a good idea though. I really do think that the bathroom like this is a good idea. I've got a plug somewhere. Well, if I have, I can't find it. Maybe it's just a uh, prototype. Uh, so you can sort of put the uh, shower tray in later. Well, it's got some good ideas. Well, I think it's let down by the fact that whoever did this van is not a camper. And so, which would explain some of 
the what I would call uh, what mistakes. I don't mistakes in my opinion, but I mean uh, the difficulties or difficulties in use. I don't think that that's a practical van, in my opinion. However, you may think differently. You may want a tiny table, and uh, you may only want one gas ring. Or you may uh, uh, want uh, no space under the bed. I don't know. I mean, I think. Uh, I'm not criticising when you having two seats, though. I think that's a great idea. But uh, I, if you put two seats in, then let's use the space a bit more cleverly and uh, live up to one's name if you're called clever.